There once was a man-child who did till the vineyard for his father. His father upon yonder noticed the wee lad every day kept rising up in anger over those who stirred his spirit. Troubling his father's heart, his father approached him and said, Take ye mine pouch of nails, and whence thou art angry, take thy hammer and pound the nail into my wooden fence, in which there is no damage. Upon the first day, the son hammered thirty and seven nails into his father's fence. As the weeks passed by for the span of a month did his father observe patiently, saying nothing until the nails of the man-child from an abundance grew fewer in number. His father said, The day your anger completely subsides, and you are done with the nails, come find me. By the end of the month, his son's release of anger and his temper grew more and more old, that he became tired of using the hammer. Finally, seeing the vanity of doing any more damage to his father's fence, the lad went back to the vineyard to speak unto his father. Awaiting the day, his father, when seeing he was yet a ways off, also approached him, and said, Come, let us go to the fence, that I may teach you a thing and sound wisdom about your anger, about the nails. When they both got to the fence, the father said, Seest thou the nails? Now pull them all out, and I will show you a fuller realization of the vanity of the nails, that you deal with your anger better and learn to forgive. So the man-child did what his father asked of him, and after the last nail was pulled, his father said, Behold, the damage of my fence. Look at the holes thereof. My fence will never be the same again. When you hold grudges and say things in anger, they leave mental scars, as in this fence. You can hurt your enemies as much as you want, it seems, and see no matter how many times you say sorry, the scars remain. That not only did you make it harder for your enemies to forgive you, you also damaged yourself. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. Now that you are done, canst thou see? It never profit you to never to rise up in anger in the first place. Forgive your enemies, and do good to those who despitefully use you and persecute you, that you do not rise up in the heat of the moment, and do that which you will later regret. Leave it up to God. Amen.